G'day legends, I'm here in beautiful Perth. Here we are along the foreshore. I've just done a five and a half K run. I think starting your day with some exercise is the best thing you can do. Uh, when I exercise in the mornings, I ha always have so much more energy during the day, feel so much better. I've got to, I know that I've achieved something already in the day and it really motivates me to do more and, and really get the most out of my day. So it's a habit that I think everybody should try and get into. You can all get up earlier if, it, if you find it hard. You've just got to get into good habits, get to bed a bit earlier and get your exercise done first thing in the morning. Today's the first day of vlogging. I'm going to try and come to you four or five times a week to start off with, give you an update on what I'm up to with my own training, with my coaching, and also try and help you guys with any questions or things you're struggling with. Started the day beautifully here with a run. I'm gonna keep myself accountable to you guys with this blog, make sure I'm training every day, getting the most out of myself. I've got my trendy visor on. I like wearing this because it lets my hair and scalp breathe a bit. So I've got eight one-on-one -on -one sessions today. Eight young players looking to get better. Keen, pumped for that. Six hours of coaching this afternoon. So I'm just here at home in Perth. It's an absolutely stunning day outside, so I thought I'd make the most of the weather. I'm sitting outside, just finishing off my Monday motivation email, which I send out every week. Uh, I find some resources, some links, and some quotes and stuff that I think people will benefit from so here it is uh, just about to just about to post that just realize my hair is all over the place absolutely shocking that's what happens once you when you wash it which I need to do more of uh, I've also got Nick watching my boy Nick Maddinson play uh, for New South Wales against Tassie on the cricket.com today live stream great service that is Maddo's 120 not out of 103 balls absolutely boning him which is great to see he's uh he's one of the good guys i've got my opening up shirt on here for those of you that uh don't know we've got a, a partnership with opening up they're a mental health charity um all about cricket obviously with opening up that's a cricketing term opening the batting they uh, they do great things around the mental health space and talking um, and sort of promoting the conversation about mental health in men um, and in cricket and really opening up if you are struggling. So uh, we'll, we'll post a link to their website underneath the video, but if you haven't already, give them a follow on social media. Um, they're really, really great. We're gonna do some videos with them in the future, but uh, I've got their shirt on today. I'm uh, just finishing this off, coaching in an hour. Got uh, eight lessons this evening, which uh, will keep me busy. Get this shoulder nice and loose. Um, but yeah, this is my Monday, getting the motivation email out so everyone can learn and become the best they can be. And watch a bit of cricket, see what's going on in the world, and enjoy the weather righto guys it's lunchtime I am uh, we get asked all the time questions about diet what people should eat today I'm making uh, an, some eggs an omelette I've got some mushrooms some tomato a bit of feta cheese got to scramble some eggs uh, I'm gonna have some avocado with it got the cricket on here Maddo's on 130 odd absolutely smoking them so enjoying watching that while I cook my lunch gonna throw some baby spinach in there as well just uh, try and get lots of fruit and veg, drink lots of water. Um, I'm not massive on diet. Some people are hugely strict on their diet. Um, I think food's really important and you've got to uh, have a really balanced diet and you want to try and eat as healthy as you can, but it's not something that I strictly, strictly follow. I just try and eat a lot of fruit, a lot of veg and, and be as healthy as I can. So we'll keep an eye on, show you this omelette. So here it is, throw it all in. I've scrambled up the egg, put the, the veg in first to cook that a little bit and now it's just waiting for the egg to cook. I've got Becca at home with me, so I've made a lot, I've made more than what I'd normally cook for myself. Nice, simple, easy, healthy dish for lunch. Just here on the bowling machine working with Finn. 
Good boy. Young player who's trying to work on staying side on, getting back and across, and getting his back coming through straight. Just getting bold that one, but he's been going well. Nice shot. Good, try and stay a bit more side on that front shoulder. Better. Again, just jumping a bit, a bit front on. So here's a good drill. I've got two different color balls and the player pin has to decide. So it's yellow, he has to back foot drive it. If it's orange, he has to pull it. So he has to make the decision when he sees the color and then he's got to play the two different shots play one of the two different shots. It's all about decision making quickly and also getting in good positions and hitting the ball well. Two different shots on the back foot. Well done. Good boy, covering your off stump nicely. Excellent. The joys of Coaching, picking up balls, 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 balls. How'd you go, big fella? Yeah, not too bad. What were you working on there? Uh, so some front foot stuff, not falling over. A bit of back foot as well at the start. Yep. How'd you find the session? Yeah, pretty good, yeah. Hitting the ball beautifully. Just trying not to fall over to the offside and walk through your shot too much. Okay. Something to keep working on. All good right. work, big man. Nice, try and keep your head still on impact, okay? It's really important that as you sweep, Head stays still, not turning too early. Extend it like a pull shot. You want to extend those arms right out. Okay, you went short first step, big second step. We're going to go big first step, then shorter second step. Good. That's good boy. Faster on your feet. Well done. Good. Well done. Use your crease nicely. Okay, now these last 20, I'm going to call out, if I go short, you just pull it. Otherwise, I'm going to call out a zone or I'm going to call out a sweep. Okay. So it's either cover, mid-off, long-off, whatever I call you to hit using your feet. If I drop it in, you've got to pull or if I call sweep, you've got to sweep. Yep. Mid on. Mid off. Good. Okay. Hitting position, your head was just back a bit. You're gonna try and get that head forward. Yeah. Right, your wicket. Sweet. Get on. Cover. Shot, just leaning back a little bit. Good wicket. Yes, over the top straight. Yes, lovely shot. Batty. Shot, Krish. How'd you go there, Chris? What were you working on? Um, we were working on getting to either to the pitch of the ball or as far away from the ball as possible. Trying to get down to the pitch or use the depth of your crease against spin. Yeah. Really good, mate. How'd you find the session? Um, challenging, but um, I learned a lot. Good stuff, mate. Well done. How are you, Travi? Yeah, good. How are you? Ready for a session? Yeah. Nice one. How'd you go in your practice match yesterday? Yeah, good. Good boy. Travi, how did that little period go there? Yeah, it's pretty good. Was it challenging? Yeah, sort of. That's your ball. A few bumpers. What'd you do well? Yep. What else? Um, cover guys are really good. Yep. And what could you have done a little bit better? Maybe hit it a bit straighter sometimes with my back foot spin. Yep. Nice. That was a challenging little period. Now we're going to move on to some bowling machine, working on your shape on leg stump. Shot. Good striking. Good. Shot, Travi. Yeah. Beauty. 
Much better. You're far more side on using the shape there than front on. Great night of training, afternoon of training done. Seven lessons, had somebody cancel, so only ended up being seven. Had a new kid at the end who did well. It was a great afternoon. Now home for some dinner with the wife. Time to get back to a few people here on Instagram. Got 15, 15 messages from people wanting help and people we've contacted. So we'll be replying to them now. Right, I've just had a question from a young player on Instagram about how he can improve putting away bad balls. He said that he doesn't put away bad balls um, and it's something he wants to improve. So the most important thing with that is that you're looking for the bad ball. You're looking for the ball in your area. I think it's really important that you, A, you know your strengths and you know your zones. So if you're good off the back foot, you're a good cutter, you want to be looking for anything that's short and wide. And when, by looking for it, that puts you in a positive frame of mind. If anything that's in your zone, then you're looking to cut. If you're good off your legs, you might be looking for anything that's full and over, like straight and over pitched. And you've got to be looking for anything uh, that lands in that area and then you're looking to put it away. If you're starting from a negative mindset, and you're starting from just a survival mindset, you get a ball in that area, and it is your strength, but you don't, you're not moving quickly, you're not making fast decisions, and you don't put it away. So I think the most important thing to answer that question is to make sure you're looking for the ball in your areas. You need to know your areas, and then once you know them, you've got to be looking to dominate the balls that bounce and land in those areas. Obviously, it depends on the wicket. You've got to assess the conditions. Some days you might sort of not play certain shots depending on the wicket depending on the conditions but you've always got to have an awareness about your strengths and look for balls in those areas you've got to also be aware of balls that it could get you out balls you're vulnerable to and that you've got to be sort of ready to counteract them but your first thought should be anything full and straight i'm going to i'm going to murder if that's something you, you're strong at anything short and wide anything over pitch whatever your strength is you should be looking for that ball and looking to put it away and that'll really help you when you, you the bad ball does come, having that mindset to put it away when it's there.